Hi YouTube. This is kind of different. <laughs> You're going to like this. I was reading this book the other day. Strange Stories, Amazing Facts. Published by Reader's Digest back in the 70s. This book is like 20 years old. And I found a story in here about a group called the Flat Earth Society. Apparently, they've been around for more than 500 years and they still exist today. They believe the Earth is flat. Okay, since the book was printed more than 20 years ago, I decided to do some modern day research. So I looked them up on the internet and what do you know? They're still around. Um, let's take a look at some of their beliefs. The Flat Earth Society believes that the Earth is a flat disk. And the North Pole is right in the center. The continents are, and oceans are around it. And around the outside edge is a 150 foot wall of ice holding the ocean in. <laughs> okay. Makes sense, right? They also believe that the Apollo moon landings were a complete hoax perpetrated by the U.S. government because it was so important at the time A. to win the space race against Russia and B. to take the American public's minds off of the Vietnam War. So they made up this whole moon landing thing <laughs> and filmed it in Hollywood. <laughs> Alright. Actually a lot of people believe that not just the Flat Earth Society people. Um, the, on the uh, Flat Earth website they show their version of the world map of flat surface. Oddly enough their version of the world map is almost identical to the map on the United Nations flag. Check this out. There's the United Nations flag. And there's the flat earth map. Very similar. That pretty much proves it, doesn't it? Interesting, huh? Alright, here's some numbers for you numbers people. According to the Flat Earth Society, the diameter across the Earth, it's a straight line now because it's a flat disk, the diameter is 25,000 miles across. That's not too big. <laughs> um, they also believe that the Sun and the Moon each have a diameter of about 32 miles across. That's it. The Sun and the Moon are the same size and they're both 32 miles across. Um, and they, the Sun and the Moon revolve around the Earth 3,000 miles up in the sky. Not millions of miles, just 3,000 miles above this flat Earth disk. <laughs> the stars are a little higher. The stars are 100 miles <laughs> above the sun and the moon. <laughs> okay, why not? <laughs> um, they also have an explanation for gravity. When you throw, when you when you live on a flat disk, you don't need a lot of gravity because you're not at risk of falling off unless you go over the edge but there's that wall of ice keeping you from going over the edge. Anyway, if you throw a ball up in the air, why does it come back down? Gravity. Where does the gravity come from? According to the Flat Earth Society, the gravity is created because this disk we live on is going up. Always. Always going up. If it stopped, you'd have no more gravity. You could throw a ball up and it would keep going. <laughs> Okay. 
Um, here's some of their uh, evidence. The Flat Earth Society says, if the Earth were a ball, ball, it's a Nerf ball, got it at Walmart for a dollar. <laughs> anyway, if the Earth were in fact a ball, the only area that would be inhabitable would be on the very top. Because if you started going this way, you'd be walking at a slant. And if you went too far, you would just slip right off the edge. Right off the edge. Same would be true for the oceans. You might have a little ocean up here, but the rest of the water would just fall off of the ball-shaped earth. <laughs> I can see how they would think that. Therefore, the Earth can't be a ball. Uh, the same is true for oceans. If the Earth were a ball, do you think water would stick to it? Trillions of gallons of water would stick to the ball? No, that doesn't make sense. Also, the, the round Earth scientists say the Earth is spinning at a very, very high rate. The Flat Earth people say, if that were true, everything, people, water, everything would be flung off of the ball. Buildings could not stay attached. Everything would be <laughs> fly up into space. <laughs> the Flat Earth version of oceans, for Earth is a, a disk, a flat disk, Oceans are actually a bowl of water. That actually <laughs> kind of makes sense. <laughs> anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you. Interesting, huh? So, who do you believe? <laughs> a disc-shaped earth? Or a round ball that can't possibly exist? <laughs> <laughs> Just having a little fun with the flat earth people. Thanks for watching. Peace. Out.